But as we see here, we've got these night mode, 64 megapixel short video panorama documentary vlog, slow motion. Hey guys, it's Mitchell. I've been using Android 11 with MIUI 12 on the Poco F2 Pro now for about two and a half weeks. I wanna go through some of the new features and differences that we have here on MIUI 12, some MIUI 12 general features, and then overall performance of this. First, obviously we now have the Easter egg with the vibration. It goes up to 11 as the meme goes. We also have corner swipe for Google Assistant. Uh, it's something that I could not get to work on some of the previous MIUI 12 builds. Now the media uh, output, we have the ability now to change the media output uh, for playback. Unfortunately, we do not have the stacked media controls in this new control center that we have or in our previous, the regular control center. Before we go any further, if you guys wanna support my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and use the affiliate links. Another thing is that although we do have the option for the extended power mode, we do not have an extended power mode. Any of the traditional, uh, like kind of Android 11 stock features that you guys would see. Let's turn up the screen brightness a little bit. So a lot of those features are general uh, Android 11 features that are, are not present on this version of MIUI. Let's go into some of the specific MIUI 12 features. Now the camera app does have some new updates and I have a whole video about these new long exposure modes and I'll link that up here for you guys. But as we see here, we've got these night modes, 64 megapixel short video panorama, documentary vlog, slow motion, time lapse, front back. Front back is a really, really cool thing that allows you to do front back video um, between the two of them and then kind of manipulate this as you want. It's a feature that I really, really like on this device. We have this whole new layout and this whole new very iPhone-ish look for all of these features. Now, one thing that we do have is I believe the ability to go ahead and customize this color palette. So let's go ahead, photo, settings, customize. Now for the color combination, we can choose to have whatever colors we want depending upon how it is. Yellow is just one of the most high contrast colors that we currently have available. Now we have this new text in all of the system stuff and we have the ability to kind of tweak text. And I must say that this bold design language and the weight of the text really does look nice. And the ability to go ahead and tweak a lot of that is also awesome. Here, I'll show you guys right now, font, text, and weight. And I really like setting this to be nice, bold, and bright for myself. And I usually have it set to large. Now, dark mode, it wouldn't be me why without dark mode. Now, this dark mode is not always perfect. The thing that is nice is that we have the adjust contrast automatically, and then we have individual apps that we can go ahead and customize how dark mode interfaces with that. So for instance, an application that already has dark mode by default would be Facebook Messenger and using this third party or using the Xiaomi uh, dark mode actually makes it kind of buggy and not look that great. But we can go ahead and turn that off. Turn it off in the camera because not all of these applications turn it off in Zalo. Not all of these applications um, are compatible with it like I, Telegram's got a, like a, a dark mode on it built in, um, but it will default an application like Twitter to have the lights out system-wide dark mode setting, which is a nice touch. Now, haptic feedback. Haptic feedback is something that uh, recently I, I really, really enjoy. And the fact that we have haptic feedback while selecting text in MIUI 12 does go a long way to making it feel more premium. It wouldn't be like a, you know, it wouldn't be a pretty upgrade unless we didn't have new wallpapers. And here we go. We have these super wallpapers, uh, which you can go ahead and use in conjunction with the always on display. I've chosen far away rings, which is new or a newer one. And some of these are just absolutely stunning. Uh, some of these portraits and they just feel so dynamic. Uh, these dynamic nebula ones feel great. The minimalism ones will change with the time of day. Uh, and it's overall just really, really cool. Uh, the level of kind of attention to detail they had with giving you something as simple as wallpapers. Now, one thing I wanna touch on, 
that you guys might not be aware of is notifications. And this is something that everybody can get. But for notifications, you can actually go in to your notification tone, choose sound, and then you can choose all of the uh, OEM pixel sounds if you want those to be your notifications. I've done this with a couple of apps so that when I'm riding my motorcycle, uh, I know if it's an important notification and stuff like that, and I can go ahead, pull over, take that message. It's a really cool kind of little Easter eggy feature, and you should be able to download pixel sounds from the Play Store right now. Now, along with all of this, we have an update in notifications, and we now have floating windows. And so these floating windows are nice. They are resizable. Uh, you can dismiss them, and they are just overall super cool that we have this full app that we can go ahead, interact with. We can bring it up to the corner. Um, it's something that I use a little bit, but it's not something I can say that I necessarily use a ton. Another really cool feature is that you can pin one of these to a corner and then you can just go back into it like I'm doing right here. Floating windows, dark mode, adjust contrast. Great. Now something I just wanted to touch on really quick and it's something that I didn't even realize that I was necessarily using the whole time was the full screen indicator. And this just makes it look like such a blatant ripoff of what we have in iOS. You, it is thankfully something that we can go ahead and hide, hide full screen indicator. Otherwise, we have a very, very uh, iOS inspired thing at the bottom. And it's something that um, I don't necessarily dislike about the MIUI 12 update. It's just very, very, very much a ripoff of what we have in iOS. Now I'd like to touch on the upgrade and performance of MIUI 12. Uh, just kind of in general. And MIUI 12 on Android 11, although it's been buggy, I have been getting good battery life and really good performance. Right now, there is a bug that allows me to have too many apps open in RAM and the device ends up kind of bugging down. Another kind of big bug that I have is that if you have a password on your device, it will automatically encrypt your data and you are not able to decrypt that data, meaning that every time I wanna flash an upgrade, I have to go ahead and wipe the device. I will more likely than not be switching this to a stable version of Xiaomi EU based on Android 10, and we will be getting better, more usable Android 11 Xiaomi EU ROM updates in the upcoming future. I don't think right now for most people this makes sense to daily drive as there are a ton of bugs. And with MIUI 12, we really don't have a big reason to necessarily update uh, over Android 10. Almost everything with Android 11 and MIUI 12 as the same as it was with MIUI 12 on Android 10. And that is the love or hate aspect of MIUI. Xiaomi's brought a lot of features within their own skin, which are nice. A lot of them are uh, iOS inspired. And overall, the Android updates, especially smaller ones like Android 11, don't make, they don't make as much of a deal when Xiaomi has such a heavy skin over the device. Okay, till next time guys, it's been Mitchell, peace.